Joint practice with the Cincinnati Bengals went well at the end. The offense got really sharp when they went to that two-minute drill. We talked to Shane Steichen about that. Lots of red zone situations. Ended with the two-minute there, some third down stuff. So overall pleased. Uh, but go back and look at the film. I got a chance to look at the defense first half practice and then came back over the offense. So get back in there and, and uh, watch the whole thing uh, tonight. So other than that, ready when you guys are. What did you like the most, Coach, that you saw? Um, the two-minute, the competition, the move the ball stuff was good back and forth. Obviously, I got to go watch the defense, but thought our guys moved the ball well in that move the ball situation. And then the two-minute drive was just trying to get a field goal right there to win it at the end. And Offense did a really good job. Our one offense did a good job getting a field goal there, and our defense obviously uh, held them there on the fourth down, which was good. So, good overall deal for both sides. In the other team periods, why do you think the first team offense was extended as it was today? I don't know. Like I, I wasn't over there. I don't know. I got to. I got to go back and watch that tape. Shane, what do you guys? Do you guys like Nick Cross better and strong or free? I feel like he's playing stronger. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at all those things. That rotation back there with those guys, Nick Cross and Rodney and Ronnie and Trevor Denbo and Julian. I mean, we're looking at all that stuff right now. And uh, like I said, the guy that makes the most plays here, we got another week and a half, you know, before we start this thing off. And uh, we'll make that decision when the time needs to be made. Could you end up flip-flopping guys throughout? When I say, let me rephrase that. Um, Alternating free and strong throughout the season. These yeah, I think too, and, and, and with anything, like within a defense, right? If you're in a single high safety, you just look, you know what I mean? You might have a motion where someone rotates back to the right. middle and becomes the free. You know, that's within the scheme of the defense. So those guys got to be ready to play in the box and play in the deep third. Uh, what did you see from your secondary against, you know, different color crazy and uh, Pro Bowl quarterback? Yeah, no, it was good. Obviously, going against a guy like Joe Burrow, who's done a lot of really good things in this league, a really good player that sees it really well. Um, I thought our guys did a good job. Um, I wasn't down there in the red zone, but I heard some screaming down there, which like looks like they did some good things. So I'll go back and watch that tape there. Um, but overall, I thought it was pr pretty good, with what I saw. Hey, how are you, you going to handle Raekwon as far as snaps and getting him, I mean, working it back in slowly, I guess? Yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work it back in slowly. We have a plan for him. Uh, we're going to monitor him, but we're excited to have him back for sure. Obviously, he's been going through that process to get his blood pressure down, and now he's he's back out practicing, so it's really good to have him back out there. Have you decided who's going to play? Yeah, our starters will play about a quarter and a half, probably, um, give or take. I mean, some guys might play less, some guys might play more, but want to get those guys out there and run around on you, Thursday night. You're going to see this, the third one now as kind of what the old third one was? A little bit. I think it just – this year kind of played out similar to last year for us as far as how it all worked out. We had a joint practice week two last year against Chicago, and then we had a joint practice against Arizona, and then we turn around and we have the Thursday night game again. You know what I mean? So after this Thursday night, we got 17 – days until we kick off against Houston and you know so this is a big day so shoot we got to get the players ready to roll and, and go out there and play and uh, get that game like experience um, before obviously week one gets here. How Update important on. will it be for Anthony specifically to get that real game feel for a quarter and a half? I think that'll be great I think it'll be really good for him uh, anytime you can get out there in those game like situations uh, it's good um, obviously you want to be smart with these guys in the preseason because we got a long season ahead of us um, but we're excited to get those guys out there on Thursday. How Update fun. on Jelani. Um, yeah, he's going to be out for a little bit. Um, I don't have a timetable on it, but he's going to he's going to miss some time. What about Juju? Uh, Juju, he's working back in, obviously with his nose, uh, probably sooner than later. Though. Tanner, oh. Tanner, oh. one more. Tanner oh. Bordellini thought that his toe wasn't bad. Did it turn out? Yeah, I think he'll be all right too. I don't I don't see him miss an extended amount of time, but he's going to miss some time. That's Shane Steichen. You get the feeling that without that two-minute drill, he wouldn't have been really happy with the way this thing went down. With two fields, the defense on one, the offense on the other, you really can't focus on both simultaneously. So like he said, he's got to look at the tape, figure it out, and then they go to work on, on Thursday night trying to figure out how to beat the Bengals, but more than that, how to stay healthy, how to compete, how to sharpen what they want to do against the Bengals, but more importantly, what they want to do against the Houston Texans on September 8th.